believe passionately in the Second Amendment, which is why I'm giving away an Anderson. He's one of six Republicans in the race for Reverend Raphael Warnock's Senate seat, and now Josh Clark says he hopes to set himself apart with a new campaign strategy. This week, the former state lawmaker announced that he plans to give away one AR-15 every week until the election. New at 10, Fox 5's Claire Sims spoke with Clark about the bold move. Josh Clark first announced the giveaway on Monday, and so far, nearly a thousand people have entered that first drawing. I believe passionately in the Second Amendment, which is why I'm giving away an Anderson AR-15 every week until the election. U.S. Senate hopeful Josh Clark aims to get more support for his campaign with a gun giveaway. The more American citizens are armed, the safer we all are. This week, the Republican candidate announced he will hold a weekly drawing for an AR-15. All you have to do to enter is visit VoteJosh.com and sign up for campaign updates. Though, entrants can earn extra points for following Clark on social media or sharing photos online. You want to hold it out? We caught up with Clark between campaign stops. Recent polls show the former state lawmaker and the four other Republicans in the race trail Herschel Walker by a wide margin. I asked Clark if this was a publicity stunt. He says the Second Amendment is something he believes in. Number one, I believe it. Number two, absolutely, we're out. We're asking people to help us to get the word out. The race is changing quickly. We reached out to the other top polling candidates in the race in a statement to Fox 5, fellow Republican Latham Sadler used the opportunity to take a shot at Walker. I've got some fascinating opponents, he said. One is giving out autographs and another now giving out AR-15s. Meanwhile, I'm giving voters the only serious leader to defeat Raphael Warnock and get our country back on track. But Clark says he is the only one who can beat Senator Warnock in November. We win one seat. We flip the Senate. But it doesn't look like it's going to be a wide margin. You know, it looks like one seat. So we got to get this one right.